Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of That's Not an Error. What is this series? This is my educational series to you guys. It is a way to figure out what is an error on eBay, what is not an error on eBay, and what it should cost. <laughs> There's a lot of things priced on eBay that people are literally just pulling prices out of their uh, out of their thin air. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it that, uh, and they have they have no clue what it's worth. Um, they figure the higher the price, the more attention it's going to get, and maybe they'll sucker somebody into actually buying the note. Now, this particular note uh, has made an appearance before on my channel, but it was in my Buy It Now Scammer auction. <laughs> um, this particular note in that auction, this guy said it was one of a kind. There wasn't another one out there, and he also wanted $10,000 for it. Um... First of all, being one of a kind, being a unique note, um, I have two of them, so clearly it's not unique. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what is it? What is the note that he is talking about here? Let's take a peek. This, as he says here, uh, U.S. dollar bill error, ink fountain contamination error, and it's graded by PCGS, it's graded a 40. Okay, so let's look here. Uh, first of all, let's take a look. That is PCGS. Uh, that is the note there, and it says extreme, extremely fine, 40 PPQ, which is uh, premium paper quality. But we can look right here, and it does say ink fountain contamination error. Well, what is that? Well, see the serial number, how green that is? When they started the printing press, black ink was put into this section, and uh, you get black serial numbers here, and green serial numbers on the other side. Now, as the printing went on, they just kept adding more and more green, so the black slowly fades to green, and before you know it, everything's all better. So, very few of these notes actually got out there. All right. So, yes, this is an error. This is a legit error. Um, thing is, is that I have two of them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Uh, there it is, green on the top, and if I go over there, there's black. There, same picture, you can see the green and the black. And once again with this one, there's green up here and black down below. Um, yeah, so these aren't that hard to come by. You can find these at shows anywhere from $80 to... Uh, I saw a couple that were graded at about $350. So between $350 for graded notes, $80 for raw notes, that's what you can find these for. What does this guy want? Well, for the low, low price of $8,800, you can have this particular note. $8,800. If he was to put this note on sale, okay, at 95% off, if he was to take 95% of his asking price off, his note would still be $440. And at $440, that's still almost $100 more than you're going to find notes at the show. <laughs> so at 95% off, it's still overpriced. Uh, $8,800, that is his asking price on there. Let's uh, let's scroll down here and see what we got. Um, well, first of all, uh, returns. Seller does not accept returns. Of course not, because once he's got your money... You're screwed. <laughs> he ain't giving that back. No way. <laughs> the PayPal payments are $366 a month for 24 months. Uh, that is $16 more than the worth, and that's what you have to pay every month for two years. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's see. Does he have a description in here? Dollar bill ink fountain contamination error is all it says. That's the guy's name. 145 items sold. Now... Why am I showing this guy I, again? Well, first of all, it's because I didn't highlight this particular note. Uh, it was just one of 10 in an in a auction video that I had done. Because, of course, if he wants, at the time, he wanted $10,000 for his, I offered him both of my notes for $5,000. Not each, $5,000 total, okay? Um, that's, if his one note is worth $10,000, I would gladly sell him my two for five thousand each, he could then sell my two and get twenty thousand dollars. He'll make another fifteen grand. Why am I talking about fifteen and twenty thousand dollars at a time? This is sick. It's it's sick when people are trying to screw people like this. All right, so let's 
look at the last portion of the conversation I had with this guy, because uh, it was a while back, but uh, here he is basically saying um, that was his reply to my offer to him to buy my two at 5000 which is, sure, why not? As soon as they pay for this, I'll, I'll buy them. And, of course, he... Uh, <laughs> there there it even says uh population one so this was in regards to his original listing where he said only one of these existed and i have two of them so like i said he corrected the listing and he adjusted the price accordingly instead of asking ten thousand now he only wants eight thousand eight hundred dollars uh once again at 95 percent off he's still over a hundred dollars more than what it's worth um, but he says right here, yeah, he, he'll be more than happy to buy mine. And uh, he didn't. So not only is he a scammer, he's a liar. Go figure. Um, it seems that whenever you talk about a scammer, you just assume that they're a liar. But there are so many people that uh, do this just because they don't realize what it is. Well, when you show people the value of stuff, when you tell people the value of stuff, when you explain to them... Uh, how the value is determined, and they still want to do stuff like this, well, of course they're a scammer. And if they don't care about screwing someone out of $8,800, uh, then why would you assume that they would care if they lied? Uh, I go round and round with people all the time, swearing up and down, they're going to get a lawyer because I, de I defamed them. Uh, no, these sellers are defaming themselves. And uh, yeah, this is... An interesting error and it's a modern error it's something that you don't see a lot of but it's current and you can buy it at shows for 300 bucks so this guy asking eight thousand eight hundred dollars should be ashamed of himself and he most certainly deserves a video not only for trying to scam people but obviously i still have my two notes he didn't buy them from me so he's trying to scam other people out of thousands of dollars and he lied to me now, some of you are going to say, well, aren't you scamming him if you sell your two at $5,000? Well, no, I'm not the one setting the price. He is. So if he believes his stuff is worth $8,800, then clearly getting two of them for $5,000 would be an incredible deal for him. I'm not trying to screw him out of anything. I'm simply asking the seller, whether it's this seller or any other seller, to put their money where their mouth is. If they really think this is worth what they say it's worth, they should be willing to buy it for half of their asking price. If they are not willing to pay half of their asking price for it, then you have to start asking why. If I had a $100 bill and I wanted to sell it for 50 bucks, everybody watching this channel would give me $50 for that $100 bill. Why? Because everybody knows that $100 bill is worth $100. Okay, <laughs> he says this is worth 8800 He should buy as many as he can for half of that price or two at a time for half of that price because he's the one saying they're worth that. If they're not worth that, then apparently he's scamming people. And it has nothing to do with whether or not he's in the, you know, he's in the resale business or anything like that. If it's worth it, you buy it. If I had a 2023 brand new car and I said I was going to sell it for $5,000 and the car was fresh off the showroom, it doesn't even matter what car it is. You guys are all going to be lined up to buy a brand new car for five grand. Why? Because you all know it's worth more than five grand. You can buy it for me for five grand and sell it for the average selling price of a brand new car of like, what is it, 22,000, 25,000, 30,000? I don't even know what it is. But you would certainly give me $5,000 for it. And you aren't a car dealer. You aren't in the business of going around buying cars and reselling them. But in a heartbeat, you would buy a brand new 2023 off the showroom floor for five grand. Why? Because you can turn around and sell it for what it's really worth. So once again, he says it's worth this much. I offer him two notes for $5,000. He won't take it. Why? Because he knows it's a scam. That's why. And that goes for every other seller I highlight. I will always offer a note equivalent to what they have at half of their selling price. None of them will ever take me up. Why? Because they know it's a scam. 
once again, using the car analogy, that pretty much proves it. All right, guys, if you learned anything new this week, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. Love reading all your comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.